So today we are going to be debugging another mistake that we make financially. Number two financial mistake that we make, you and I, is impulsive buying. Buying things on the go. Things that you do not plan for. Because of buy one, get one free. You see something, you like it. You know this Ariana Grande song. I say it, I want it, I like it. Can you come, can you come? Something, something. I love that. Anyways, a basic mistake that we make, another mistake that we make, is buying things on the go. Things that we do not plan for. Right? And even though it is as small as 50 naira, 100 naira, the more that you buy those things, the more those things eat out of your money. Money that you know, expenses that are unplanned take out of your money, obviously, right? But when you don't when you don't even see that as a problem, that's actually a problem. So today we are going to be talking about impulsive buying. There's nothing really much or deep to impulsive buying, right? It's just as simple, tricky as it is. Like I see something, I know that one of my addictions, right? is ice cream but because ice cream is getting on the high price now so one of the things that i know that i buy often is maybe snacks or this egg roll or puff or this you know all these fries and stuff and all of that and even though i'm just buying 100 naira today 50 naira tomorrow 100 naira next tomorrow you know um 50 naira day day after next tomorrow whatever that is right it eats out of my money and so the day that i will need like 500 naira for transport fare, i will not start remembering all the 50 naira 100 naira that i used to buy um fries and all those snacks and all those junk and everything and then it's not be tricking me that if i had spent that money wisely right but that's also one financial mistake that we make so how do we curb or you know prevent this impulsive buying the best way to go is always budgeted to be honest, when you budget your money, at least you know where your money is going to. Because first of all, you are even I'm going to teach, teach you how to budget a few steps, right? Um, so what budgeting does to impulsive buying is that it kills that. It kills that no matter how much you have that uh what's it called, that desire to buy what you want to buy. I'm not saying you should not buy what you want to buy, but at least there are priorities. What are the things that I need as opposed to what are the things that I want? So you are first of all sorting out the things that you need rather than the things that you want. There's something in economics that they call opportunity cost, right? Is you prioritizing what is the most important or what are the most important in a list of things that I have. I want to buy, okay, obviously I need transport fare to work, I need clothing, or I want some more clothes because I already have clothing, or I want to buy ice cream, I want to buy meat pie, I want to buy more junk, but I also need, let's say, a tripod with ring light and all of that. And when I put all of that together and then I list them out, right? I now start thinking, okay, which one do I need most? First of all, let me talk about my transport fare because I cannot trip to work. It's quite a distance, right? So there are certain things that you know that you like is a go-to. You cannot compromise on them. Food, food, um, shelter if you're paying rent, um, then transport fare, all of those things. They are very cogent. They are very important. You cannot override you buying a playstation over your transport fare maybe my buy or over your food like you will go hungry so that's the essence of budgeting right and i think that is very key for each and every one of us to budget because when you don't budget you don't give room for your money to have this experience of soldier come soldier go such that money is coming in but you don't even know how it is going so fast or where it is exactly going to and when you now start checking your expenses or bank statements you are like where is all this money going to? How is it that I'm getting this kind of money in a year? Like, okay, quick assignment. Try to calculate all the money that you have spent in the last six months, right? All the money that has entered your account in the last six months. And how much is in your savings? Like, I'm not saying it's because I'm perfect. Obviously, we are still looking at the savings aspect. But yes, this is number two financial mistake. That it is very important for you to work on.